So in our last video, in here, we we added rows and rows of rows. If you remember, it was um, a full table that we had to insert. If you haven't watched this video, I suggest that you do, because this is the data that we get. I took the liberty of uh, getting this already up, so we can save some time. So now next, uh, once your data is in in a table and somebody says for example david says and he say he says i don't like my name when it's displayed it's with a small d or prasad comes up and says my name spellings are wrong so how to update a record for that <clears throat> we will do the update command you see it's blue uh, most of the time the color coding gives you um, an idea so update what we're updating we are updating a table so we have to give the table name and if you know that's the table name if how I know it uh, because I made it but to quickly look show you database employee table and this is the table I'm working in employees there's another one but you can ignore it for now so I'm gonna say I'm I'm updating out of these two the employees tables so I can say employees what I'm doing so set I want to set employee name David <coughs> set David is equal to David now it should be employee name employee name because I have to give us the column name so what it will do is that it will set by looking into this column to David now we have to give the very important command that is where it's part of select statement where now we have two ways of doing we can ask them what's their employee id right because that will be unique we could ask them anything else but that will be uh, duplicated by other people for example if we said hey okay if it's a male employee then what it will happen is that it will rename everybody who is male we don't want to do it so it has to be a unique row that we are modifying updating so I'm gonna go with the employee number so I can say okay what's your employee number and they say it's four and I, I can say where employee number number is equal to four that's it so this command is going to update the employees table just the employees table out of these two there could be 10 tables here and it's gonna what's it's gonna update it's gonna set the employee name it's gonna look in the employee name table and set it to David where it finds the employee number in four so it will compare it against it and if it finds four it will update whatever the record is there to David let's see if I can run it one row affected if I run it again you can see David is now with a capital D I could do so that's how you update the record but I could do another way I'm gonna try and see if it works or not I'm gonna copy the whole thing I'm gonna this time Sarita says that she didn't like her name I'm gonna try to do it against the same column and see if I can get away with that So what I'm going to do is now I'm not looking for um, I should not do this way because there could be more people named Sarita unless there is uh, 
I really should not do it this way I will not suggest anybody doing this approach just for the sake of learning I'm doing this because there could be more people with the name sorry sorry Shah uh, no it was Sarita yeah so I will not recommend doing this there could be more people with the name same name and what will happen is you will change their name as well so it has to be a unique row for example if I put another row you will see the it will change both of them I can actually do that let's try that as well let me copy actually same Sarita I'm gonna copy this see if I can paste it here yes I can okay without the oh, there are commas Hyderabad as a I should not do this way okay but I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna write it what the hell let's do it live insert into employees come on values and now we have to do the employee number for employee number we're gonna pass 16 for name we're gonna pass um, Sarita again let's do capital S I'll keep it same <clears throat> because then you will not see the change I want to I want you to see the chain for general gender is going to be female for birthplace we can change that uh, sorry birthplace it can sorry sorry that this sorry is in Chennai we can do the other one as uh, Delhi now date of birth for date of birth we can say she was born in 1990 we can do it as 1991 Zero four zero six, and current location we can put uh, she's in Bangalore we can put her in Bangalore as well <coughs> excuse me and her designation is she is junior admin we can say consultant is there any consultant here no consultant so we'll see it will be completely different record but uh, just because we are using uh, the using this uh, command the update command on the wrong column it will t affect two rows rather than just one <coughs> so designation date of joining she joined in 2015 we can just give it 2016 same month and year 08 or the same month and date <coughs> and her salary is 25 we can say she is a consultant so 35 yeah cons consultant make more uh, the independent uh, contractors they make more okay and her department number is 40 we can make her there's no 50 so let's make it 50 and our department name admin we can put her in finance is there sales is not there let's put her in sales and date of leaving we should pass it as null and total experience should be five years and manager ID should be is there a six yes there is a six so it should be a seven lucky seven yeah 
an address. For address, we can put as <coughs> we put her in Bangalore. So let's go. Mm. Sector E10 Bangalore. That's good enough. <laughs> I really don't know how they're schema works for the house. I just use the one of our cities. Okay, so address and bonus. So for bonus, she got two thousand. We're gonna say this one got four thousand. And we can hopefully end it. Let's end it. <coughs> now we oh the bracket should close. Let's see if I have yeah my let's see, try to insert this. One row affected. I'm gonna run this command again. And you can see I have one Sarita at five. This one and then there's another Sarita. She is in Delhi. My and what we can do is now if I run this one that I wrote earlier, it should affect both Saritas. Let's see if I'm right. Executed and it says two rows affected, like I said. If I go here now and execute, you can see. Oh, no. Uh, if I go here and run it, I will see Sarita, the, the name change and Sarita name change. So you see how important this is to make sure that you are updating really a single call, uh, row. If uh, it's an individual tracker needs to be updated. Uh, Sarita had no problem so we know it could be something else it could be the address change and for example if Sarita said had said this Sarita that my address change and we had used the where on implied name what will happen is it will change the address for her that as well and that will be catastrophic you know uh, if any communication needs to be done by regular mail it will be being sent to either both to her or if there is a typo it will send to the completely uh, different address they will not be getting that so it is very important that you <coughs> uh, apply this uh, when you're updating you uh, really apply the where clause to an individual row by selecting a unique number or unique characteristic of that row that is not shared among any other if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.